Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video and today we're gonna discuss about making this a resource library in WordPress or in your website. So what I essentially mean by resource library is something like this. For example, this is my other college uh, college community website here and actually it's time for exams right here. So, I've collected a uh, lot of a uh, lot of uh, previous year question papers, and I have made a table that where anyone can uh, search. For example, if I want to search for computer programming, so I can type in. So I will get the computer programming uh, uh, previous year question papers. I can also sort on basis of year. For example, here I have. I can sort between them. Also, I can filter things out. For example, if I want to, I want a specific subject. Actually, for example, if I want engineering chemistry, I can have everything with chemistry here. Also, I can have multiple filtering options here. For example, if I want uh, subject chemistry, which was in the year of 2014, so I have two different question papers here and the user can also download this PDF actually so if someone clicks on this he will be redirected to the uh, download page of that so essentially it's very simple to do but it's a little bit trickier when it comes to implementation so this can be achieved in several ways and I'm gonna show you the easiest way to achieve this since we are using WordPress, we can have that by adding plugins. So the plugin that I'm using here is TablePress. TablePress is great plugin, by the way. Which, by the way, is free and by far the most simple plugin, but full of features. I've used similar plugins, but this is fine for me. If you use any other plugin like uh, Ninja Tables or any other one, it's not a problem anymore because the workflow here is simple and it can be done with other plugins also but for this video I'll be showing with table press if you're new to this channel I would recommend you to subscribe and uh, share this video if you found useful and I'll be posting a lot of computer science related uh, videos here and I hope this helps so we can continue to the video so if you haven't already installed the Table Plus plugin, you can do so by going to Plugins, Add New. Once you reach that page, what you need to do is just search Table Press. Once you get uh, search results, uh, you should find that actually you should remove this space here, and if you search for it, you'll get the plugin. So this plugin here is the one I'm using. So I have already installed as you can see and once you install and activate this plugin what you need to do is go to table press and add a new table by going to this menu here and this is the this is where you add new table here. So <coughs> what we need to do here is uh, create new table so we should give a table a name so uh, let's say library for instance and you can add description if you want it but I would uh, uh, it's okay uh, it's your will if you want to add description you can do for for now I don't uh, add one and you can uh, specify your uh, row number and colon number so you can always change this afterwards so once you click add table a new table will be created so once you create a new table you'll be created with table information so here's the table ID and table name and description so this is where you add your table content and uh, here as you can see I've already filled the first row of this table so I can let's say uh, uh, let's say computer programming and 
computer programming and let's say if this paper was on 2008 and this uh, let's say this was semester one and the subject is obviously computer programming <laughs> and you can add the download link for example uh, let's say the download link is this one and uh, you can add each and every row here and that's how you add content into this table and we have table options and you should check this one table head row in this one you should the first row should be the table header you should check this one and other settings are usually the uh, usually okay and yeah that's all and you should ch save this one once you add this table what you need to do is copy this short code onto you uh, well, let's copy this and what you need to do is go to new uh, make a new page so once you you are into new page let's say let's say I created this library library so library and you just add the uh, short code here table ID 6 and if you let's say if you publish this thing you can see that our table will be shown in that page so see, you can see here this library we have title year sem subject download this is the download link but in most cases we don't actually paste the URL here we need a download link so what we're gonna do is go back to you um, go back to your page editor and what you do is you add new button and just add download and let's say your URL to do download this thing is this one and if you enter this we if you want this button to be shown on that table what you need to do is go to this and edit this HTML and copy out this HTML code and once you copy this thing what you need to do is go to table options and you add replace the URL with the HTML code of that thing so when you save the change and go to the page go to the page you can see actually i should refresh this yeah you can see the download button here let's consider you have loads of files to be uploaded and added to the table adding manually each row will be a big task and it will take lots of time so to automate this thing what we use is spreadsheet using spreadsheet you can export the table you can make table and export that table so that you can import into the table was plugin so here's how I do it we start by collecting every document into one folder so I have every uh, PDF in this one folder and it is having 70 items in one folder so we need to optimize this thing so what we need to do is take a list of these files I mean take the names of these files into a list so what we do is go to run what we do is a Windows plus R and type in CMD once CMD is open, opened type this command cd to open directory space and the path of that folder now if you enter that you're in that folder here actually you can see that and what we need to do is type in dir to list out the files in these in this folder and 
we don't need this in command prompt. What we actually need here is go, uh, we need these file names into a list into a text file. So what we do is type in dir crash line symbol and type the name of that uh, text file. For example, list dot t txt. And if you type in, watch what happens. You can see that there's a new there's a new file called list.txt and if you open that you get every every file every file in this list. Now what we need to do is copy this from the start till the end till the end you should copy. And we need to go to Microsoft Excel and open a blank workbook and let's take another sheet and paste it here Control V you can see that now we don't need this date of modification and time in that and even the mm, the size of each file what we only need here is the the title of this file so what we do is go to the right sort of them and type in this formula equal to right because we need right of from starting of right of this string here so we type in right and bracket and click this cell okay in this case it's right of a1 and uh, for the length I say length of length of this string okay minus the first 39 characters because we don't need this uh, from first to till the first 39 characters we don't need that and if you close that and click enter you can see you get the title only the title you get to get of remaining things what you need to do is copy this cell and paste it and if you want to paste for remaining cells is just select and paste it voila you see every corresponding file you have a title and we don't need this list.txt in this because we don't actually need it so we just delete it and I mean delete the entire row and yeah that's it so we just take this only the title and control C or copy that okay now go to the sheet one and just write down title and what we need here is just paste okay just wait a minute um, you go and copy this and go to the sheet one and paste only the values paste values here we don't need the cells here so just paste the value once you get this what we need here is the year of that year of that paper was released. As you can see, in this file name itself, we have the release date of that paper. For example, 2010, 11, 12, 13, 2008, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, like this. We have lots of thing here. So what we do is take of this and write. For example, if this is 2010, you are writing 2010. And same for this, 2010. By far, you can see Microsoft Excel have already figured out what the remaining cell should be. If I enter that, everything is already filled in. And you can verify it. For example, this is 2012, yes, 12. This is 2013, 13. See, that's simple. Now, let's say we need to um, 
add the subject for example subject okay so we have here basic civil and mechanical engineering so just copy that and paste it and here it's the same and you can add remaining uh, subjects like this just copy and paste uh, unfortunately we don't have a automatic way of doing this but this is how you do it next thing we want to add is the download link so we just write the title as the download and we just paste the code for that for example um, go to your the and we had that code of that download button so just copy that and go to your excel sheet and just paste that code so we need this download link to each and every one of this pdf so just select that and select those cells okay and just paste it yes and we have added the download button as well but every download button has its own link but the links are same so we have different PDFs so we need different URLs so, so we will set up that later but for now we need to upload this PDF to web server so we'll do that now we are uploading the library folder to your web server so I use FileZilla to upload and my files to my web server so once i open the filezilla client here what i need to is connect my ftp so um, which one was that this thing x um actually i need to connect all the wi-fi actually for example so i need to connect the uh, ftp to, I mean I need to connect to web server here so once I uh, get into my server here I just need to bring that folder into this uh, into this uh, web server actually so take out that where is that library folder you just need to uh, just need to drag and draw here into your server once you have uploaded your files to your web server what you have to do is go to the directory where you have uploaded through your web, web browser and you can see the directory listing here every PDF has uploaded here and what you need to do is for example if you click this PDF you can see that you have its link but the uh, the trend here is actually, for example, if you have technical space communication, right? This space is replaced with a percentage 20. And if you see communications, right? Just after communication, it is replaced by percentage 20. It's because each white space or each, it's a, each space is counted as percentage D percentage oh sorry percentage 20 in urls and you can also see for example um, this um, for example engineer graphics engineer space graphics space 2013 so what you have to do is just if you click on that you can see that engineering space in share space we have percentage 20 so what we need to get that uh, uh, each link what we need to do is is for, go to your temporary sheet here in that temporary sheet select everything and uh, delete it and what we need to do is bring that every every title of that uh, of that file and we need to just copy that and bring to uh, temporary sheet and paste the value okay now select everything okay and what you need to do is control H so control H brings find and replace dialog box so we need to find spaces so we just add a single space by spacebar and replace that with percentage 20 
and if I click replace all okay if you replace all you can see that every every space is replaced with percentage 20 basics space is actually basic percentage 20 so now we have to do is we need to bring that URL here so as you can see our base URL here is soacse.cf slash library slash right so you just copy that okay just copy that and bring here and in fact you have to copy and paste till the end okay so paste the value okay now we need to do is combine this and combine this and this so what we actually do is bring here we need to add formula equal to okay b2 actually b1 okay and ampersand and b a1 okay and if you enter that out you can see that you have a link a full link here okay and in fact if you okay just a minute if you copy that and go to your web browser oh sorry again internet connection Okay, if you refresh that, you can see you have opened that PDF. That simple. So we need to repeat that to remaining, uh, remaining files, right? So we need to do is select every cell beneath that and just paste it. You can see that every PDFs link is we got every PDF link here so we need to do is um, we need to copy this and bring that to your your uh, your main sheet and bring that to download link here download link and paste okay go to temporary sheet again and copy it and bring to sheet one and just paste as values okay don't paste as uh, uh, don't paste special we need paste as values so we got the download links now go to uh, the temporary temporary sheet here and uh, we'll add uh, the Mm, the uh, we'll copy this uh, link here I mean the download button code HTML code here and okay and we just have to take this out and cut it okay and bring to the third column here and paste it okay you'll understand why I do it like this now here we'll paste down the link here so we'll do is take it bring table down okay then copy it copy it and bring to sheet one and paste as value now we'll do is here we'll do is bring a formula here equal to so a1 and Emerson and B1 and I would send C C1. If you enter that, you get the whole HTML code with correct link though. And you just copy that till the uh, remaining uh, link here and paste it. So you got respective HTML download link code and just do just copy that, bring to sh other sheet and paste it as values and you need to delete this download link so you got 
the respective titles with respective download links and its, its subject with year. Now it's time to export to CSV file, so save as and go to and just say where you want. I will save it in that same folder and I will save as CSV format. And it's, uh, you can use CSV format, also uh, other CSV format also, but I'm using uh, the table press support CSV format. That's why I'm exporting CSV format. So save that and yes, you need to replace that if you have already. Just click OK and yes. And next thing you should do is go to your uh, table press, go to import and choose that file and go to library yeah choose that csv file and instead of adding as a new table you should replace that with the existing table we already inserted and click import now the magic happens what happened here is you have uploaded that csv file and based on that csv file we have inserted every uh, possible table elements here. Now if you go to that um, web page and refresh that, you can see that we have every download link which has it and you can search for example if I want 2010 here, yeah every 2010 paper here, for example if I need 2008 papers, there is no, I mean there is one, yeah 2008 paper. So this is how you do upload a table into that. Now next thing we need to do is set up filtering things, right? We need to filter subject, we need to filter a drop down filter of properties. So to do that what you need to do is go to table press website, okay? When you get to table press website here, you can see extensions, right? Click on that, and we'll see that we have column filter widgets. It's a premium extension, but the developer has made us free to use, so you can click that and download it. Once you download that, what you need to do is go to your, <coughs> you just save changes. And what you need to do is go to plugins, add new, <coughs> and then upload a plugin, choose file, and go to downloads and upload that file. This thing. I have already done done that, so I don't need to do it. Once you install that, uh, install that thing. What you need to do is go to your library library page and edit that page and as you can see the developer has given us the short code we should use that so we need to data tables column filter widgets true right so copy that and go to this edit page and paste it there. and let's just make this uh, page full width no, sorry, but and you update that. Once you update and go to your uh, page, when you go to that page, you can see that the we have options to filter things. Are right. Suppose you don't need uh, filter this column <coughs> download column. So what we do is we do is go to ex uh, column extension. I mean table press extension. Uh, page here and copy this page uh, code out and if we want to exclude column number two and three or four we need to use this code so in our case we need to exclude column number one we don't need to filter title out and column number four which is the download thing so go to edit page and paste that code here and we need to exclude column number one comma column number four and if you update that, what you can see is, uh, if you refresh, refresh that, you have only two filtering options. That's cool. So if you filter, let's say, computer program, 
and you can filter uh, you can filter uh, here also thank you for watching this video and if you found this video useful please like and if you have any questions please comment it down below in this video and if you find this useful you can share with your friends and uh, if you want to share with others you can also do that <laughs> so also don't forget to subscribe and if you want more of this kind of tutorial you can always hit me on this so I'll be posting through my YouTube channel so be subscribed thank you for watching this video bye